<laughs> Seems like high tide is about to come in. We should have known it was you. Pool boy! Your firepowers are no match for the might of the Marine, Hotline. Maybe not alone, but I have my team with me. Your type of terror ends here. Uh, yeah, I actually think I'm gonna sit this one out. What? <laughs> this is going swimmingly. Seems like your partner has really dove off the deep end. Shut <sighs> Whisk it. Do what you must. Hotline and payback will protect all. Oh! Oh! So, how exactly did that make you feel? It made me feel invisible. So when you say that, do you mean invisible like your powers or... I mean, kind of, but more emotionally. Sometimes we all feel invisible, but when that ha- Ha, Whiskey, nice of you to join us. You're late. Have your meetings later then. I seem to have lost my entire train of thought. Uh, Whiskey, I've made a lot of progress on the case. There's more going on. Inquirer? I don't care. Oh! Remember what I was saying earlier. You all have extraordinary abilities. Moonshadow, you used to be one of the greatest sorcerers of this generation. Inquirer, the Inquirer! You used to be out there locking up the FBI's most wanted. Whatever happened? You don't ask the questions, I ask the questions. I'm the one who inquires. Come on, Inquirer. You can't be sad when you're holding a cupcake. But I wanted to hear from all of you. I want you all to get that one thing off your chest that's been nagging you. Let's hear it. I used to be the biggest thing in the 80s. And these days all these kids want to talk about is some guy dressed up like a box. A box! I just haven't felt the same since I left the Lunar Colony. I used to conduct trains. And now I conduct electricity. But I haven't felt that same spark since I became a hero. I guess when your whole power is copying other people's powers, it's hard to create your own identity. I'm always searching for answers, but I can't even find myself. I'm speaking my mind, and to tell my truth, I don't like how destructive I can be. I'm a gentle creature. I do so much work, and no one appreciates it. I can't find the rhythm anymore. I'm off beat. People no longer appreciate the theatrics of my work. I just can't find my music. You can find your music. You all can find your music. You just have to reach inside yourself. You found my music! Showtime, ladies and gents, it's showtime! There's no way. This is, this is dumb, like, this is stupid! Wizkid, the point of our little group here is to express our feelings and work through issues, and if you don't want any part of that, then you can leave and come back when you're ready. There's a court mandate on my attendance! Oh well, on that note, I think it may be time for a quick break. Let's reconvene in 15 minutes. Hey, wanna go get some fresh air? Yeah. I'm down. Showtime! I have a few questions for you. Could you come join me in my office, please? Be right there! So, you're in the Defenders of Justice? Pretty top notch. It sucks. Really? Yeah, they're all creeps. Why do you think I'm even here? Makes sense. It's not the same for you? I mean, not really. My team's great, but I just don't really want to do this kind of stuff anymore. You're probably just a little burnt out. You try taking a break? I mean, I want to, but I kind of can't. You know, we have a responsibility to use our powers to save the day. We're not just allowed to kick back and let someone else deal with it when there's a ton of other guys who can do it just fine. It gets tiring just having to be ready all the time and go beat up the next bad guy that pops up. And guys like Pool Boy, they're not a threat. Worst he's gonna do is make a puddle bigger. There's just better things I could be doing with my time. Wow, you really do need that break. But I get it. It is hard working 24-7 with no breaks. It's important work, but you get so roped up into it that you drive yourself insane and start acting like the Inquirer. Yeah. 
That guy's a bona fide psycho. I look forward to seeing you in action, Joe. Supervillain? That is an absolutely dreadful accusation to make. I had my suspicions, but now I have proof. The name on the business card, Dr. Darcy Despair, sounds awfully similar to one Dr. Despair. Good find. But do tell, what would a random supervillain from the 90s be doing here helping out superheroes? I don't need to know your reasoning. But you're the Inquirer. Inquire! That's what you do as a hero. So, why am I doing this? Well, what's a villain? Without a hero to fight. I look forward to seeing you in action. See you two next week. Oh, did we miss the second half of the session? Oh, no, we're just ending a little bit early today. Stop! That man is a supervillain! The therapist? I think you inquired way too hard there, man. No, he's Dr. Despair. We need to stop him. Uh, so, it was Dr. Despair that drilled me in the back of the head? Um, yes. Well, with the power of song and dance, he doesn't stand a chance. Swiftly, we must follow. Are we gonna do anything about that? I mean, do we have to? I think they can handle it. Then we do nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. <laughs>